everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm joining you today from my kitchen in London. Firstly, I'd like to say that I'm thrilled to be part of the Farhang Flavour Series, so thank you so much to the Farhang Foundation for this opportunity. Today I'll be showing you one of my favourite Persian dishes, Kal Kebab. Now this is an amazing appetizer from the north of Iran, which is surprisingly not that well known outside of the region. The name can be a bit confusing, it's not actually a kebab and it doesn't contain any meat. Instead, it's a delicious dip that's made of some of the most iconic ingredients of the region. So we're talking smoked aubergine, pomegranate molasses and walnuts. It's really simple to make. So before we get started, I'm going to show you the ingredients that you need. So for the kal kebab, you're going to need three large aubergine, one cup and a half of walnut pieces, three cloves of garlic, fresh pomegranate seeds, some fresh parsley and mint, pomegranate molasses, and a large pinch of salt. The first step of the recipe is to char the skin of the aubergine. So let's move over to the oven. So the idea is that we want to properly char and burn the skin of the aubergine so that the flesh inside is soft and has a really delicious smoky taste. To do this, you really do need to apply a lot of heat. So I'm fortunate enough that I have a grill on top of my oven, so I'm going to grill the aubergine directly. What you can do instead is use a barbecue, or if you have a gas stove, just place the aubergine directly on top of the flame. The aubergine will probably take around 20 to 25 minutes until they're done. So you want to just leave them on a high heat and turn them every now and again. But the idea is for the skin to be completely burnt and the inside to be soft. So it's been around five minutes and the skin's already charring quite nicely. So I'm just going to keep turning them every now and again until the entire outside of the aubergine is burnt. Now you can see that the aubergine is fully charred and actually falling apart a little bit. This is how you want it to be. So I'm gonna take it off the heat and let it come to room temperature. So once the aubergine are cool enough to touch, I'm going to remove the skin and also discard of any large seeds that they might have. We can now start preparing the other ingredients for the dip. So we need to grind the walnuts and like I said at the beginning, you need about one and a half cups of walnuts and I'm just going to blend them in a small blender or you could use a food processor and I'm gonna add the garlic cloves in with them also just to make my life easier. ground so I'm just going to pour this into a mixing bowl which we will soon add the aubergine to so here's the walnut mixture it's very finely ground it's almost a paste now I'm going to add the aubergine You'll see that when the walnuts mix with the aubergine, they start to become very creamy, similar to how you would have tahini in a mutabal. So when it comes to adding the pomegranate molasses to this dip, it does really depend on your personal preference and also on how sweet the pomegranate molasses you have is. 
As a guide, I would recommend to put in around four to six tablespoons, but definitely taste it as you go and just make it to the level that you like. So just like with Fessendune, I definitely prefer mine on the sweeter side. Now for a large pinch of salt. I'm gonna add fresh mint because it cuts quite nicely through the garlic and the smokiness of the aubergine. And a touch of parsley. Now that everything is mixed, I'm gonna leave this in the fridge for at least an hour for all the flavors to fully combine. And then I'm gonna decorate this and eat it alongside some flatbread. I've taken the cow kebab out of the fridge and now it's time to plate it. So it may not be one of the most beautiful dips, but I am gonna embellish it a little bit with some fresh pomegranate. Right, now I'm gonna add some more fresh herbs for a pop of green, parsley and mint again. You could also add tarragon, that would look nice on top. And a final sprinkle of Walnuts. And a drizzle of pomegranate molasses. There you go, that is the final dish. I've decided to serve the cow kebab alongside some sangak bread and some feta and herbs. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoy this recipe. Make sure to tag both myself and the Farhang Foundation if you do make this at home. Cow kebab is definitely a delicious dish that deserves more recognition. Mm -hmm.